1,000 years ago. Superstition and the sword ruled. It was a time of darkness. It was a world of fear. It was the age of gargoyles. Stone by day, warriors by night. We were betrayed by the humans we had sworn to protect, frozen in stone by a magic spell for a thousand years. Now here in Manhattan, the spell is broken, and we live again. on gargoyles. Come on, sis. How long are we gonna keep this up? Until I get something on him I can use. Xanatos always spots the tail when I follow him by car. I wonder, would you be interested in a job with my company? I need someone as a pilot and personal bodyguard. I've decided to take Xanatos' offer. Ah, oh, Derek. I've been wrong about a lot this week. You don't have to be a cop and you do have to lead your own life. But I wasn't wrong about Xanatos. you're not. I can see that. I haven't been in New York long. This is just a temporary setback. As it happens, I need a temporary assistant. Easy work, and it pays well. Plus, much nicer surroundings than these. Well, what would I have to do? You know what the Zen Master said to the hot dog vendor? Make me one with everything. Like I haven't heard that one before. Looking for Derek Mazza. His sister, right? Yeah, he said you'd be coming by. New toy? One of the perks of working for Mr. Xanatos. Missed you a dinner Sunday. Been busy. Xanatos doesn't believe in employees visiting their family. Oh, here we go again. How many times do I have to keep saying this? Xanatos isn't the reincarnation of Snidely Whiplash. And even if he is, I can handle it. Hey, hey, whoa, it's your life. You got that right. But I think you're fooling yourself. Look, just promise me you'll call if there's trouble. There won't be. But okay, I promise. Cross your heart? And hope to die. We have to 
safer. You say so. <laughs> Come on, we're out of here. No, God, save her. received some fascinating expense reports from Genutech Systems. Yes, their R&D team is working on something special for me. Something involving armed mercenaries? Not to my knowledge. Perhaps it's time to pay Dr. Severius a visit. Mercenaries, huh? Maybe I'll come along. I'm sure it won't be necessary, Derek. It's what you're paying me for. Might as well get your money's worth. <sighs> Might as well. As soon as they left, we caught the first updraft back. She was so frightened. Yeah. Of us. She needed our help. We talking about the same person? From where I sat, she didn't want our help. She wanted mine. Lover boy took this off her wrist. Well, it was a tracking device. Digital, long range, expensive. The symbol was on the ambulance, too. Genutech. I think it's time for an update on our project, Severius. Of course. You asked me to genetically design a living creature based on a gargoyle. I considered cloning a living specimen, but none was available. Or has that changed? No, it has not. So I turned to gene splicing to breed for desired traits. The composite genotypes would give our creations the strength, speed and agility of a jungle cat. Plus a bat's ability to fly. And human intelligence? Yes, of course. But the problem is the energy needs of the wing muscles. The creature would need to eat the equivalent of three cows a day to maintain its strength. So how do the gargoyles do it? Not too many cows in Manhattan. I surmise they store solar energy while hibernating as stone every day. Unfortunately, that process is unknown in the rest of the animal kingdom. But there is another way to meet the energy needs. Electrophorus electricus, the electric ear. These fish store energy in specialized organs called electroreceptors. Adapting this might solve our problem. Yeah, well, this is all pretty impressive theory. But the big question is, why'd you hire mercenaries? Ah, <coughs> uh, yes. It seems one of the test subjects escaped. Test subjects? Oh, don't worry. We got her back. Look. <laughs> You grew these from scratch? This quickly? Well, no. That would have taken too long. I used a shortcut. Human protocols. A human test subjects injected with a mutagenic formula. What? This is what you've been funding here? I had no idea. No, that's not true. I was fooling myself. I knew Severius had a bad reputation. I wanted results so badly I ignored it. But don't worry. We'll make it right. We'll find a way to reverse the mutations. No! I won't let you destroy my work! Oh. Go ahead. Try something. I'd love to do that again. Funny. I don't feel sleepy. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a tranquilizer dart. It was loaded with a mutagenic formula. The same formula I used on that. Better have an antidote. Oh, I do. Right up here. But why would I help you destroy my work? There's a couple of police detectives here, Doc. They're investigating a kidnapping. By all means, Doc, invite them in. Let's give them the slideshow. Introduce them to the finished product. You wouldn't dare. You bankrolled everything. You're right. We'll both go down for this. But I've been in prison before, have you? The police, the press, the public, they'll crucify you. And if they don't, I will. I could begin work on the antidote right now. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty lousy. Just say the word and I'll have it brought up here. Don't worry about me. This is my fault as much as Severius's. No, 
I can't face her now. Maybe when he's cured me. All right, get rid of him. And then get to work. Oh. Derek, what's wrong? Help me. I don't trust Savarius. He's definitely lying about something. Can't you arrest him? There's no probable cause. Without enough evidence for a warrant, my hands are tied. Well, mine aren't. Don't you have some junk bonds to sell? The metamorphosis is accelerating. It might be safer to cage him. He's a man, not an animal. Shut up and keep working. She needs my help. Yeah, right. You don't know anything about her. And neither do you. Rushing off without a plan won't help her. And I have a plan. You can get in here. Wait. See those wires? Those wires mean electricity. And electricity probably means an alarm. Oh, wonderful. Terrific. So what do we do? Find another way in. around hey, I'm trying to find your girlfriend got it there you are stay back somebody help me lock down the laboratory Security has been breached. Never mind. Just give him the antidote. Hurry. Not now. Xanatos. I should have known. chance. I'm sorry. No! I only needed a few more seconds! It's the gargoyle's fault. They'll pay for this. If it takes my last breath, they'll pay. Come on. We have to get you out before the police show up. Unless you wanted Lisa to see you like this. No! Then come on. We'll find a cure for you and the others. I promise you that. Xanatos at his castle.
I hope they fire the decorator. Hello. What have we here? Seems Xanatos owns Genutech. She probably ran away immediately after sunrise. But she needs us. Hudson, you and Bronx stay here in case she returns. The rest of us will go to the castle. Until Xanatos finds a cure, we might as well learn to use these wings. Follow my lead. Hey, he can keep his cure. I like this. Owen, I want you to find me the best geneticist on the planet. You. This is your fault, monster. Here come the other two. And I don't think they like us. Maggie, wait! Detective Maza is here. Send her up. We have to stop this senseless violence. Why are you afraid of me? I want to help you. No, you don't. You want me to stay a monster, like you! Freeze! Back off and you won't get hurt. Now, calmly. Who are you? <laughs> Call me Talon. Okay, Talon. Why are you stomping on my friend here? Your friend made me like this. Impossible. Goliath would never intentionally hurt anyone. Look, I want to help you. Promise. Cross my heart. Hope to. Derek? Derek, is that you? No. Xanatos did this to you. It was an accident. He's trying to help me. No, don't you get it? He's lying. He's always lying to you. No! Elisa, I'm sorry. Them? No. Let them go. She doesn't want our help. She doesn't want me. Now it's war, Xanatos. You're going down for this. I promise you, no matter what it takes. May I present, sir, the best geneticist on the planet? I was particularly proud of my death scene. Frankly, Severius, I thought you overplayed the part. But aren't you amazed we pulled it off? It took months of forcing the early subjects to escape before the gargoyles even spotted one. But after that, things couldn't have proceeded more predictably. He's well suited to his new form, wouldn't you say? Yes, but they've all escaped. They'll be back. Derek, or Talon as he calls himself now, is convinced that only I can cure him. And that delusion will keep him just where I want him.